Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to use your room as your own reverb effect. Let's check it out. You came home for a holiday. Blue skies felt like forever, but no one wants to hear your Cadillac dreams anyway. There's so many cool factors at play here, and it's really hard to capture this in a plugin. I think that you know, doing something as simple as setting up your own reverb chamber. This is a this is a classic technique. So let's talk about how to do this, and I really think it'll be worth your time if you give it a shot. Now I kind of think of reverb chambers as in the same family as reamping. In fact, I think of it as three parts. I think of it as mechanical, which could be like a plate reverb, We're using a transducer to excite the plate and then collect it again. I think of it as electronic, so we can uh, convert the impedance of the signal coming from the DAW, uh, play it through some uh, guitar pedals, and collect it back again. Then finally, I think of it as acoustic, so uh, we're using a transducer uh, to uh, excite air in the room, and then we're collecting it again 10, 15, 20 feet away. So in each case, there's a, a, a toss and a catch on the other side. It's a little bit different than, say, rolling a plate reverb out by a drum set and letting the drummer play into it in real time. Now, of course, we can mix the three, too. So uh, we can reamp a vocal track into a guitar amp and then um, use the spring reverb, but also collect the room mic at the same time. Uh, so it's not one or the other. It can definitely be a mix. Now I think of reverb chambers as kind of a, uh, an old technique because all you really needed is a speaker and a microphone, um, a stairwell, uh, a bathroom, something like that. Any space that is somewhat reflective that you have available to you. And it needs to be somewhat quiet as well. There's a couple ways you could set up a reverb chamber. Uh, the first and probably the easiest way, if you're already doing a lot of reamping out of guitar amps, you can do a very low level uh, reamp, something that's not distorted, just, just enough to excite the room, and of course you can set up a mic and collect the sound again. But the best way to do it is to use a studio monitor. I, I try to get somewhat decent of a sound, but it really doesn't have to. So it's really forgiving what you use. The idea is just to set up some sort of speaker, play sound through the room, the room treats the signal, and then it's collected by another transducer called a microphone. So a lot of you have asked me, what do I do if I only have two outputs? So left and right on my interface, that's it. I'm stuck. Well, kind of, but not really. So what you do is you just save as a new project as a variation of uh, what you're mixing on. And in this new project, pan everything that you don't want to send to the chamber left, pan it hard left. Then what you do is for that one thing that you're going to play through your room and collect the reverb for, you want to pan that right. And now take your right monitor off your desk, haul it into your room that you have available, and record the sound. You can use the left side to monitor the sound of the microphone in your chamber. One thing is, is when you're monitoring, make sure to have that monitoring return, the sound of the microphone, going into only the left side. Otherwise, you're going to just play it right back into the room and get feedback. So let's see what this sounds like. Again, this is really forgiving. We're gonna try it out on a couple different things that I really use this a lot on. Uh, drums, acoustic guitar, maybe some vocal. Let's check it out. You came home for a holiday. Blue skies felt like forever, but no one wants to hear your Cadillac dreams anyway. That might do a lot. I mean, this effect is so realistic sounding that I have a hard time using plugins. I know it's a little bit extra work using real things like this, but I think it's worth the extra step 
because after all, we work in audio and we should really strive to get the absolute best sound. And, and I think that this is at least a good 10% difference of something that I would hear in a plugin. There's just such a great three-dimensional depth to using a real room to play your sounds in and then collect it back again. So I'd love to know what you think of this. We'll be hanging out in the comments below. Thank you.